Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take you through connecting your Olam Pro 4G onto various panels. Let's get into it. With the included cable, you get two ends. You'll see one of them is a 4-pin and one of them is a 5-pin. On the back of the Olam unit, you'll also see there's a few options. There's Universal, Paradox and Output. You will note that the Universal is a 4-pin, Paradox is a 5-pin and the Output is a 4-pin. For the 1808 panel, make sure that you turn the mains and the battery power off. Once the power is off, you can continue with the connection of the Olam onto the key bus interface. We will be using the 5 pin connector. You have to deepen the connector and use the cables directly onto the key bus interface. Once you have connected your 4 pin cable into the key bus interface, on the back of the Olam, you're going to use the universal input. You will be using the 4 pin connector which is slotted and it can only go on one way. There are two ways of connecting to the 805 panel. The first is via the keypad interface. You have to use the 5 pin connector side and deep in the connector. You will then use the cables directly into the keypad interface. Once you have connected the Olam into the keypad interface, we will connect into the universal connection on the back of the Olam. With the 4 pin connector, which is slotted and can only go on one way. The second way to connect to the 805 panel is via the X series adapter for older X series panels. From the 805 keypad output, you will connect the 805 keybus interface card. You will orientate the adapter with the power cable facing the inputs. You will now connect the power cable into the 12 volt auxiliary. We will use the 5 pin connector which is slotted and connect into the serial adapter. We will connect into the universal input. We will use the 4 pin connector which is slotted and can only go in one way. On the SP6000 panel, there is just a few settings you need to change before you can connect your Olam Pro. Make sure your panel ID is set to 0000 and your panel password is set to 0000. As the Olam uses the panel ID and password to connect to the panel. On the PC board at the top right is where you find the serial connector. We will be using the 4 pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way. We will be using the 5 pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way onto the 5 pin on the back of the unit that says Paradox. Before connecting your Olam Pro to a plus panel, make sure that your user code or master code is not the default 1234, so make sure that you change that. We will be using the 5 pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way onto the 5 pin on the back of the unit that says Paradox. You will now connect your Olam Pro onto Serial 1. On the MG5050 panel, there's just a few settings you need to change before you can use the Olam Pro. You have to make sure that the panel ID is set to 0000 and that the panel password is set to 0000. 
as that is the code that the unit uses to log into the panel. At the bottom of the board, between your ring enter and your zones, is where you find the serial connector. We'll be using the 4-pin connector, which is slotted and can only go on one way. We will be using the 5-pin connector, which is slotted and can only go on one way, onto the 5-pin on the back of the unit that says Paradox. So we'll be changing the master code from the default 1 to 3, 4 as the unit uses the master code to connect to the panel. We will be using the 5-pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way onto the 5-pin on the back of the unit that says Paradox. Now connect the Olam Pro with the 4-pin connector onto serial 1. We will now go through connecting the Olam Pro to the IDS X-Series. We will locate the serial connector next to the chip with the name of the panel on it. The serial connector is male and female. The way to connect the IDS X-Series panels to the Olam Pro is via the X-Series adapter for older X-Series panels. Please ensure that the panel is fully powered down before connecting the Olam Pro. Make sure the Olam adapter has the power cable on the right facing the panel outputs when connecting onto the panel serial connector. We will now wire the adapter power cable into the 12 volt auxiliary. We will use the 4-pin connector into the universal connection of the Olam. We will be using the 5-pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way and power up the panel. We will now connect the Olam Pro onto the IDS new X-Series panel. We will be using the 806 adapter and it connects to the panel via the modular interface. Make sure to turn off the power to the panel before you start. We will now install the Olam 806 adapter onto the X-Series panel. We will be using the 5-pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way. We will be using the 4-pin connector into the universal input on the back of the Olam Pro unit. We will now connect the Olam Pro 4G onto the IDS 806 panel. Make sure to turn off the panel before we start. We will be using the 806 adapter to connect the Olam Pro onto the 806 panel. We will be using the 5 pin connector which is slotted and can only go on one way onto the adapter. We'll now install the 806 adapter. We will now power on the panel. We will be using the 4-pin connector. So it's slotted and can only go on one way, which connects to the universal connection on the back of the Olam Pro unit. We will now add the Olam Pro 4G onto the EVO 192 panel. Before we can start adding the Olam Pro 4G, there's a few things we have to do. If your panel is locked, you first have to unlock your panel. In location 3000 is where you will be adding your unlock code to unlock the panel. After you completed unlocking the panel, you will then make sure that the panel ID and password is set to 0000. On the panel side, we will be using the 4-pin connector, which is slotted and can only go on one way. On the Olam side, we will be using the input that says Paradox. We'll be using the 5 pin connector, which is slotted and can only go on one way. We will now follow along the LED states. The unit is booting up, the unit is connecting to the panel. We have a solid blue light, which means connected, all is okay. 